Hi everyone, this is Leech. Before you go brush shopping, it's good to know the different characteristics of the different brushes that are available in the market. And today I'm going to explain what uh, the features of Squirrel, Sable and Synthetic are. Here's a selection of synthetic brushes. If you're a beginner, it's good to start with a synthetic brush because it's very affordable, it's very low maintenance and it's pretty durable. But you'll have to adapt because synthetic brushes are comparatively less flexible than natural hairs and they do tend to have a very strong spring or a snap. So I'll pick this brush and I'll just demonstrate. You can see although it has a really beautiful point, it's also rather stiff. This poses a problem because when you're drawing something and you need a nice delicate edge, um, synthetic brushes don't respond as well as a natural hair. There are also blend brushes and blends are brushes which are a mix of synthetic and a natural hair and this really helps to balance out the qualities of each. Here's a collection of sables. Uh, all these are Kalinsky sables which are the most treasured sables for watercolour painting and the reason for this is because they are Although they are soft and flexible, they are also very strong and they've got a really good spring or snap to it. Best of all, sable, this sort of sable maintains a very sharp point. So you'll see here, let's say I'll take this one, and it looks kind of bushy now, but let me just wet that. And you'll see that it's perfectly Sure. The only drawback to Kalinsky Sable is that it's very expensive and something like this is $175 and these small brushes will probably be in a range of $20 um, given that you still have to you know buy a new brush every now and then it can be quite an expense Kalinsky Sables are pricey so if you're on a budget, you might want to consider these lower range staples. These are red staples for $3 and these ones are under $30. And this one definitely is under $15. And I got all these at Art Friend. So you can consider the, the lower range of staples just to give it a try. Squirrel hair makes for a very good mop or wash brush. And the reason is because it is very absorbent. It can hold a large amount of water. How does it hold up against sable? Well, squirrel is soft and flexible like sable, but it doesn't have that same spring or snap. It also doesn't point as well. This means that when you're painting, the brush isn't very firm and does go out of shape, so you'll need to adapt to that. The good thing about squirrel is that it isn't as expensive. I'm going to paint with these three brushes so that you can see the differences between them. I will start with a synthetic and pick up some paint and you can see that it does actually hold quite a bit. I'm just going to scrape that off and then we can start. It's got an excellent point and uh, I really like the control on this brush. It feels like I'm using a pen. Now, if I use the side of the brush, you're going to see that I have to press down quite a bit to get the, the brush to fan out. And so sometimes I just don't get the effect that I like, um, the soft edge. And now I'm going to try with the sable brush. If you look at the sable, it's fully loaded, it's fat and full of paint. I'm just going to scrape off a bit of that and then I'm going to go in. Look at how soft it is, and yet it comes back to a point. Really sensitive to touch, to pressure, and uh, and so lovely to, to paint with. Look at how fine the lines are. And the brush. 
brush hasn't lost its shape. It's still the same. If you if you notice, it's not lopsided and it's not flattened. It's still the same pointed Kolinsky sable. And um, when I use the side of the brush, look at how delicate it can go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And the last will be the squirrel. And the squirrel, as you can see, is super absorbent. My brush is really fat. It's got a lot of paint in there and I can't go right in now because it's going to flood my paper. So I'm just going to scrape off. And I'm going to have to make sure that the brush is fairly well, less misshapen. As you can see, I'm going to go in now and draw a leaf. Oh, it's very soft. Can you see? Very, very soft. I'll try that again. And look at how much paint it's releasing. So for me, the squirrel doesn't release paint as well, but it is a very soft brush and still lovely to handle. The detailed work takes a little bit more control. And it's still releasing. You can see it's still it's got a lot of water in it. The problem with the squirrel is gonna come very soon. I'm gonna do this. It's also very lovely for for this nice soft edge. And look at that. And that didn't happen with the sable because of the release. And also look at my brush. Totally out of shape. No point and um, really flat. Very, very flat. I've come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful and that you'll be able to go out and buy something that is suited to what you paint.